Hey, what's going on guys? This is an unboxing that I am very excited for. This is the Premium Bandai HGUC Gundam TR6 Hazel 2, which as you can see is not a particularly a form of the Hazel, but a form of the Wound Warts. The Hazel 2, meaning that it is a kind of competitor to the Hazel in terms of its capabilities. Anyway, I won't get into the lore. You guys can feel free to read up on that. There's plenty of it if you're interested in the actual story or th information behind the advanced data designs, which is all pretty interesting, I think. But let's get into the actual kit here. So of course, being a PMAD Iron kit, it's just all monochrome here on the front. It is a dark colored suit. So like a dark, like Titans colored suit here for this. And so what I'm assuming we're going to have in here is pretty much uh, the majority, if not all, of the original Wound Ward kit, probably, except missing a few parts, I would imagine. And then a bunch of new parts here for the rifle, new part there for the shield on the arm. And obviously we have the big blade rifles there mounted up kind of as cannons there on the back. It also has a different back skirt as well. So anyway, some really cool improvements or just changes to the design here for this. It does also just still transform and have its mobile armor mode as well. Typical P-Bandai box here with nothing really too much on the outside to see aside from the front there. No list price listed for this, but the list price for this was 2400 yen, which is very reasonable if you ask me. Uh, so if you can get anywhere near that price, I think it's definitely going to be worth it. But let's just take a look at what we got here. Here I can see we do have the original Wound Warts back skirt there, so yeah, we are going to have some leftover parts in this from the Wound Warts kit. But here is a new runner though, I can see there's a new back skirt part here. And then the shield parts, new rifle parts there. It's basically in the same color here for the kind of like purplish color, it looks like, for the kind of frame and joint parts and all of that. And then just a whole bunch of dark colors and a stand included as well, so that's nice. I think the original Wound Warp, yeah, also had that as well, if I remember correctly. And let's get into the manual here, which we can see is just a boring HGUC P Bandai manual here with nothing really to look at in terms of colors or pictures at all. It's just the bare bones instructions. So here we have just the color guide. We do have that here, but again, obviously not in color, but it's all there in Japanese and English, so you can read that if you are interested in matching the colors. On the other side here we have our parts list, and it looks like there's really only a couple of parts left over from this. We have a couple parts here, which I believe are from like that's like the kind of fin on the shoulderish part, I believe, if that was right. And then parts here for the back skirt, and that's pretty much it. So it looks like you can maybe build the original back skirt of the Wound War if you want, but otherwise, uh, not really gonna have a whole lot left over. It's just on through the construction of that. Then once we finish up the construction and on onto the weapons, I wanna see what it's got here for the transformation and everything of that. So yeah, transforming it into mobile armor mode, just to give you an idea, is gonna look like that, which is very cool looking, I think. So there's just how to transform. You basically pull everything apart and put it all back together in weird, goofy ways, and you'll have that all mounted up. And then you can transform, it looks like, just like with the original Wound War, you have the option to transform into crow mode, which I believe you guys, if I remember correctly, when I reviewed the Wound War, you guys were telling me is a, a misspelling or mistype anyway, that it should be claw mode or something. I'm not sure. Both sound convincing, because claw mode makes sense, because it obviously looks like kind of like claw. Crow mode, though, also does kind of make sense, considering the Watership Down references throughout uh, Advance of Zeta, so I'm not sure. Let's just get on with the runners, shall we? And as we do, guys, again, a huge thank you to SA Gundam Store for making the review possible. Do check out the link to their site down below and check out the P Bandai stuff that they have on their site as well as everything else. And you can save 10% off everything with my coupon code there, Zakorilius10. So here is the sticker sheet, looking very similar to the Wound War here, basically. You have a couple marking stickers there for eyes and cameras, that's all pretty typical for any HG kit, but then you have these big long ones there that go on the blade rifle. We have doubles in this case because we have two of that. And just a couple more color correcting little stickers on there. So not too bad considering it's an HG. As for the marking stickers, we basically just have a few here, four of the Omeka, and then it looks like eight of the Titans Test Team logos, and that's pretty much it. So it's pretty simple in the way of marking stickers. Once again, here is our included base for the kit. Not really the most poseable, but it does have a couple of options in the angle that you want to place the kit, so it's not too bad. PC001 for our polycaps here in that standard kind of dark brownish gray color. And then we have our two wires in here for the claw mode. Now, it says in the manual that one is actually supposed to be a spare, but you have two because you have two of the long blade rifle, but hey, anyway, you could pose this up with two of them. We'll try it out in the review anyway. So here's runner A1 here from the original Wound Ward kits in this dark blue Titans color, and it does look really nice. Again, this is nothing really new though. We saw this before with the Wound Ward. And we've got two of this runner. 
Then we're under A2, basically the other half of that, more parts from the Wound Wart and more parts here in the Dark Titan's Blue. We're under B1 as well from the Wound Wart and once again in that kind of like dark purplish color for the joint parts and different detail parts, things like that. We've got two of this runner as well. Strangely, the bottom part is a little bit different, but anyway, all the parts are exactly the same. And then runner B2, again, the other half of that, just more detailed parts here, joint parts and hand parts there, open and holding hands. We're gonna see one here in this nice yellow orange color. Once again, nothing new though, so let's move on. We're gonna see two, the part for the top of the long blade rifle, and again, nothing new except the fact that we have two of these in this kit because we've got two of those. And then runner D for a couple little parts here in red, one for the face and then one for the crotch piece. Now we're getting into our new parts for this kit. So here we have runner E1. This is in that dark purplish color. You can see some parts here basically for parts for the backpack and kind of like mounting the cannons up there on it. And so this runner is marked HDUC 144 scale Hazel 2. And then we have runner E2, which here is a copy of this half of the runner there. And then runner F1 here, back to that dark blue color like we saw on the A runner. New parts for the shield, the back skirts, and some weapons parts on there. And then runner F2 would be this section up here, where these parts are in white. So really just a couple parts in white for this kit. So that is it for the unboxing, guys. As you can see, there's a lot of parts in there, and unlike a lot of... P Bandai kits, there's very little left over in this case, so that's good as well. You will actually be using pretty much everything that's actually in the box. And so again, for that list price of 2400 yen, I think that's very reasonable. And just considering the cool factor as well, I think that's very, very reasonable because this kit is awesome. So gonna get this built up and then we'll take a look at it in the review, guys. So again, thank you to USA Gunham Store for sponsoring the review. Thank you to you guys for watching. And if you have any other questions, of course, or comments, feel free to leave those down below. Love all the new advances today, the stuff that we're getting. It's a shame that it's all P Bandai, of course, but I'm just glad that they're making more advances Zeta stuff. So let's get it built up. I'll see you guys in the review. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code Zakurilius10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.